I'm Glenn Rockford. I'm the systems engineer for the TC7X series of products. Today I'm going to show you how to use the SIM and SAM modules in your TC75. Right now I'm going to show you uh, how you'd insert a SIM, SAM, uh, and SD card into the unit. So to do that, you should power off the unit. You can pull the battery out without powering it off. It does work, but I, you know, always recommend to do, do the power off to make sure you don't lose any have any uh, sudden uh, interruptions on your system or any surges in current. Okay, so to do that, we move the battery by pressing the side two releases, pulling it out, and then you'll see uh, there's a, uh, a plastic cover here. It's easy to grab at the top. I don't have very big fingernails, but I, even with hardly any fingernails, I can grab it and pull it down. Okay, and that just pulls out like so. And you'll see in here there's uh, two mini, <coughs> I'm sorry, one mini SIM SAM slot and two nano SIM slots and an SD card slot. So, uh, so we'll start with the, uh, the mini SIM SAM module. Okay, this is a, a, a mini SIM card here, an AT&T card. Um, you'll notice that the notch is up here to the, um, if you're looking at it from the back, it's to your upper right. You'll take the card and put it underneath this slot here, and then just simply push it in. And it'll feel loose, but don't worry about that. Just make sure it's pushed all the way in. Okay, and then we'll, uh, we'll also put in a uh, nano SIM. So as mentioned, there's two nano slots and a mini SIM slot. Uh, when you get the device, uh, by default, this slot here, closest to the edge, is the nano SIM 1 slot. This is the default slot that uh, is used. Uh, I'll show you how, uh, how you can change that. And select different SIM slot. Uh, in this case, this device that I'm holding has already been configured to use the mini SIM, and uh, I'll show you how to switch it to the nano later. Okay, so the nano. So the nano is just uh, this. The little notch points basically down and to the uh, and to your right, my left, okay, and push it in like so. That just sits in there too. There's no covers or any any latches that go over these. And then uh, the uh, this is a uh, SD card. This happens to be a four gigabyte, but we can go up to sixty four gigabyte um, SD XC cards. Okay, and that you can see this, but basically that card simply slides into this connector. I that was too smooth, but okay. Once you get it, it just slides right in. It's nice and easy. All right. Now, since there's no covers or anything holding these cards, these uh, these SIM cards down, uh, this plastic uh, uh, piece here, the seal, uh, is very. This door is very, very important to make sure that you you push it in fully and make sure it's seated properly. So you just basically start with the bottom edge and then press all around the sides here until it's, it's firmly down and, and seated. That basically holds the cards down and makes sure they're in place. It is possible if you don't seat that properly and you put the battery in, that um, you would know, you would think it's sealed. It, it is possible and it might not make a good seal and you might have problems with your, uh, your SIM modules and uh, connecting to your wireless WAN carrier. Okay, so now we just insert it and put the battery back and we're ready to power up the device. So when you put a SIM module in, you, uh, you have to actually lock it when you select the carrier or you put your uh, email on here. So, uh, <clears throat> okay. So I don't know if you can see here, but uh, in the upper left-hand corner, it's uh, telling me that I'm connected to the AT&T network. Uh, basically, this phone supports uh, 2G, 3G, and uh, 4G uh, networks. This is a 4G card. All right, LTE. Uh, so I said that I would show you how to switch. So the other carrier is uh, it's kind of an, uh, I'm not even sure which one it is, so we'll find out when we switch to it and see what happens. Uh, maybe AT&T as well. But um, to switch your card, you first of all have to make sure there's a, uh, when this device ships out of the factory, um, there's no, the default SIM is the nano SIM one, as I said earlier. And there basically is no, no way to go in and change that. You have to, uh, 
provision the device or stage the device, if you will, with the WAN uh, underscore UI dot config file. You, know, you, you basically just load that file to the internal SD card or the SD card, external SD card at the root directory. And once it's installed, that'll enable a UI that will be, then be shown to you. And this is the UI I'm going to show you right now. So, so we go into the device, uh, go into settings, and then select more, and then select mobile networks. And then you'll see there's an entry here for SIM socket selection. That again, that, that does not show up unless you have that WN underscore UI dot config file loaded in the uh, SD card or external or internal uh, SD memory. Okay. So once you hit that, you have three choices. You have mini SIM, nano SIM 1, and nano SIM 2. Now I placed the uh, nano SIM into the first slot closest to the edge, which was nano SIM 1, if you recall. So I'll, I'll select that. And you'll see that it says modem is resetting. So uh, now that we selected the uh, Nano SIM 1 and we still are connected to the AT&T carrier, uh, let, me let me now select Nano SIM 2 just to show you that you know, there, there's nothing in there and we should see no carrier at that point. So let's go to more, mobile networks, SIM socket selection, and now we're going to select the bottom entry, Nano SIM 2. Now that we've selected Nano SIM 2 where that socket was empty, had no, no SIM card in it, you'll now, you'd now notice at the top of your screen it says no SIM, comma, no service. So uh, the uh, device doesn't need to be restarted or rebooted in between the switching. Uh, this gives your, uh, our customers the flexibility to be able to go in and easily switch uh, carriers if they have multiple carriers.